Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm in Monaco, actually Monte Carlo, to spend one night in the world famous Hotel de Paris. I'll be spending 24 hours in one of the most prestigious hotels in the world. I'll even check out some of the sites too. So I've just arrived at Nice Airport and as I'm heading to Monaco, well, there's only one way to travel to Monaco and that is on a helicopter. I've never been on one before, I'm a little bit freaked out. I don't know why I'm ducking. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this is normally a shared helicopter, but as you can see, there's nobody else on this. So it's just me, and normally you have to pay a lot more money for just a private helicopter. So I got pretty lucky. I'm so nervous, I've never been in a helicopter before. So I apologize now if you see the nerves on my face. Do you know what? That didn't even feel real. Um, I thought the pilots might be a bit more chatty, but they weren't. So no one told me to duck, but you see it on the movies, but no one else seemed to do that. And I certainly didn't want to take the risk to have my head chopped off. I'm sure that probably doesn't happen. So uh, I've been picked up from the heliport now, and it's onwards to the hotel where I'll check in and I'll show you my room. So just arrived. It is one of the most famous hotels in the world, the Hotel de Paris here in Monaco. Let's go check in. When you've got money, you can just park your car anywhere. I don't know whether you can see that on the ceiling. There's loads of turtles. Can you see that? There's one there. There's another one there. But look at that chandelier. That is amazing. Real crystal, maybe? Although, they're glass, I think. Oh. Wow, look at that. That doesn't look open. Are those real palm trees inside? We'll check that out later. One thing you notice is that it smells really nice. I'm glad I wore my white trousers because I'm blending in with the surroundings. My room is just through here. 194. Wow, looks pretty close to another room. If I came back here a little bit tipsy, not get confused which room I'm in. Look at that on the door. So it's not the basic room, it's not a very expensive room, again it's mid-level but I did pay extra to get of course a balcony overlooking the Mediterranean which you have to do if you come here to Monaco, sorry Monte Carlo because the views are incredible. However I'm on the first floor, I'm a bit gutted because I did request a high floor, maybe they're pretty busy but the view is still pretty good but I'll check that out in a minute but first let's show you the room just like the savoy in london i've just noticed i have a chandelier 
I really like that. It's got a bit of a Mediterranean vibe to that chandelier. It's really nice. It goes without saying, the detailing on the room is pretty incredible. Love the candle lights. It's quite nice what they've done there. So the light isn't too bright and it just shines on the wall and then bounces back. Well, that's the idea anyway. We've got a huge TV. I guess you would call the room modern, but also classic at the same time. The bed is huge, but the lighting in here is very subtle indeed. I love how all the lights are kind of shielded. So we've got a bathroom there, a closet, and then the toilet down there. We'll actually start in um, the main area, which of course is the mini bar. I've seen these in some hotels before. It's like luggage, love that. There's nothing in there. But there is in here. Look at that. Very nice crystal glassware. I don't want to drop it. Are these wine glasses or are they whiskey glasses? These are, unless they're not wine glasses, these are very small. Some nice cognac there. We've got some nuts, little whiskey glasses, flute glasses. And down here, well, this is very odd because I've got an adult box. <laughs> I've got a rose petal set in there, a vibrating, okay, some adult stuff in there. Well, there you go. I didn't expect to find that, nor did I expect to find a cap, some cards. I have no idea what that is. A bottle of red wine and, let me just move this up, something to open the red wine with. That's pretty cool a fan, and also some help with charging. All at extra costs, of course, just like the mini bar. So to check the price list, I have to scan this QR code. I'd be gutted if I didn't have enough battery. Wow, okay, so, it's in the fridge. Look, so, I don't believe this is censored. Thankfully not. That is a big can of Coke. That'll cost you 13 euros. At least it's a big can. Bottle of water. 12 euros. There's a range of whiskies and spirits there and the prices start around about 22 euros. Or, um, wow, the cognac in, wow, this cognac, if this is right, is 70, 70 euros, but this? Well, I'll be leaving the mini bar alone. Look at the detailing on the mirror though. I don't want to touch it because I know that everyone will go, don't put fingerprints on it. Not quite sure, we've got an empty, Vase, is that a candlestick? Kind of a, a funky light. And then there's a little workstation. Now the furniture in here is, it's supposed to look like this or it actually does look a little bit dirty and grubby. You'll have to tell me in the comments because I'm not used to these, but if you do rub them the other way, I guess, yeah, they give off that dirty look, but whether that's actually wear and tear and a little bit of dirt, I'm not sure. Ooh, what are these? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Look at what someone's done. No respect for the Hotel de Paris. Well, those scratches. Some stuff on the Cote d'Azur. Oh, I like my remote in this lovely Hotel de Paris little sleeve. This light looks very futuristic. Touch screen as well. That's pretty cool. Look at that. I'll take one of those home. And of course the pen. There's a notepad there and a little envelope as well. Compared to the photos, this room does look a lot different than I was actually expecting. I actually bought one of these plants from my nan once. She called it a money plant. I don't know whether that's true or not. Tell me in the comments. If it is, maybe it's because the casino's next door. It's gonna bring you some good luck. I don't know. I'm sure this is complimentary water. And I also get, I have no idea what this is. The sun is a symbol of eternity, light and life and prosperous. Oh, this is chocolate. Wow, for a second, and it's quite heavy as well. I was like, I'm very confused what this is. It wasn't until I looked at the back and saw an expiry date, I was like, huh? Wow, never seen anything like that before. Also a little welcome card. Joy is an inner feeling found in the most meaningful, memorable moments. We look forward to creating joy and everlasting memories for you. Welcome to Hotel de Paris Monte Carlo. Branding is on point everywhere, even what this was sitting on. Look at that. 
the bed is huge and fairly comfy. Now, you know I notice everything. One thing I was quite surprised about, and if you look into the details, especially that we are in the Hotel de Paris, one of the most famous hotels in the world. And are the sideboards supposed to look like that? But they're quite chipped, quite surprised about that. In fact, they really do look out of place. I mean, <laughs> it's something that I would find in a worse rated hotel, I'm sure. They have been, um, they have, they've had some use. Now you can control the lighting through the phone, which I'll show you in a minute, but you can also use these. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can turn the lights a little bit brighter just by pressing that. Some of the lights come on now, or more of the lights come on. And what's that? Oh, that's just come on. Nice little ottoman at the end of the bed. And if we come over this side, check out the phone. Once again, it is a pretty basic, very plasticky, cheap feeling phone. I mean, look at that. That looks pretty worn to me. All this looks pretty old as well. But the attention to detail, they've got my name up on there and I can order room service. I can close the curtains. I can check out details about the resort, but yeah, look at that. What is it with these really nice hotels? They spend all this money. In fact, that looks quite dirty, actually. I don't think I want to be using that. Love this, love this headboard though, and the little reading lights. Okay, so let's check the bed because I did ask for a mattress encasement, which they haven't provided. Um, and I gave a special request for this. The whole big bed bug thing that's been going on. I thought they would have um, sorted that out for me. I did ask at reception. They said there's one on there. There isn't, so I'm gonna have to see if they can get that sorted out. If not, it's gonna take me a long time to check this mattress because it's huge. Let's check out the balcony and the view that I have. Oh, that's the awning that goes up and down, I believe. Look at the view. So on the first floor, still pretty good actually. So at the point of filming this, the F1 is here soon. Can you imagine how much extra this room would cost me considering that uh, I think the, um, the racetrack literally goes right past the hotel. I can imagine that would probably be um, quite a sight to see. Okay, let's check out the bathroom. Couple of cozy chairs to sit outside with. Let's check out the bathroom because the bathroom is beautiful and just look at all the white marble. This is really nice. Loads of goodies. There's soap, body lotion, cotton buds. Can we just appreciate how polished these taps are though? Amazing. Shaving kit there for the men. I don't know what this is. There's something for the speaker here, so I don't know how all that works. Maybe that's for the TV, not quite sure. Dental kit. Branding is on point though. Check it out. And look at the tub. It is gleaming. Very nice. Extra shower bit there. And talking of showers, this surprised me because as I walked in and I looked up and I was like, where's the shower? And it's built into the ceiling. I haven't seen many of them before. So this will be a, a real big rainfall shower when you're standing in there. The controls all the way down here, there's an extra shower head. And there is also a bench to sit on. So the question is, how many people can we get in this shower? Well, actually at a push, I'd probably say um, you could get quite comfortably two people sitting down and then I would say four people standing. And also the hairdryer is in there. And we've got some more goodies in here, which I think is, well, it's a loofah and a comb. So as you know, I am honest with my reviews. And when I first came in here, I was like, wow, it smells really nice. And the Josh sticks, yeah, they make it smell really nice. However, 20 minutes after filming the bathroom, I walked past and I was like, ooh, that smells like someone's been to the toilet. And I walked in here and yeah, I can really smell the drains, like really bad. 
Opposite here, this is the closet. The light comes on, so I've got my stuff in it, obviously. My jacket for later, because there is a dress code here. Posh hangers, only two of them. More branding on point. Ooh. I love how these drawers open, push them in as they pop out. I've got to take those slippers and of course the robes, which will be chargeable if you want to take them. And hang on, I almost missed this. Check this out. That's like a Premier Inn kettle. <laughs> kettle looks good though. I believe this is complimentary. There is an espresso coffee machine. There's more goodies mini bar continuing here. We've got some sweets, some chocolates, and am I seeing things? Is that like a celebrations box? Wow. I think that's probably about five to seven pound for that. We've even got a Twix in there as well. <laughs> and a bounty, nobody likes the bounties. Well, actually I do. See, that's nice, because then you can actually make your tea here. And that is so nice. Look at that. Espresso cups. Soft clothes, nice. There's extra drawers there. So the toilet is in here. Again, how do I turn the light on? Where's the lights for the toilet? Oh, it's here. These lights are very basic, aren't they? Well, the lights at the end of the day, light switches. It's one of those posh toilets. Now, does this actually... No, it doesn't come up as I... No, some, have, some of those toilets have actually, when I've waved my hand, have gone up, but there you go. If you want your butt washed and sit on a nice warm toilet seat, look how tiny that sink is. That's all what you need though, love that. Toilet paper's on point. So apart from a few scratches, I think the room's all right. Um, we'll check out the rest of the hotel. I've got dinner booked at eight o'clock. Um, you actually have to book in advance for your meals here. So if you are gonna come and stay, you need to book days in advance actually to get, uh, to get your seat in the restaurant. I've booked the grill, which is apparently on the eighth floor and it overlooks the Mediterranean. So that will be nice for hopefully sunset or maybe just after. So we'll go and check out the rest of the hotel. Also check out the swim pools. We might do that in the morning, just depending on how busy it is. And of course, a little bit later, we'll have to go and check out the casino. I'm not quite sure whether I can film in there at night or you can during the day, but you have to pay the world famous Monte Carlo Casino. So let's check out the rest of the hotel. Thank you very much. So the security in this hotel is very high. Everyone's staring at you the whole time. Um, not because I'm filming, but they just, I don't know, it made me feel so uneasy in that American bar with the security staff coming in and out, in and out all the time. They're just kind of like staring at you. So I thought I'd come and see outside. Um, looks quite nice in there. There's some entertainment. This whiskey sour is something else. It's got quite a kick to it. By the way, the whiskey sour cost me 24 euros 90. So I went back down to reception to ask about the encasement mattress and they got a little bit confused as to what one was, which I was quite surprised about with the hotel this standard. Anyway, I went to the concierge and that was not the best experience. In fact, I found the guy quite rude to me. By the way, I wasn't filming him or anything, but um, he just looked at me blankly and was very unhelpful. And for some odd reason, the security guard came over and was like looking in and leaning into me and I was like, I'm just asking a question. I wasn't raising my voice, I was just asking a question. One thing about this hotel that I've noticed is wherever you walk around, and this has got nothing to do with the camera because I just looked around the hotel myself. When you're walking around here, they all suspect you that you're not staying here. So you always have to show them your room key because they'll look at you and go, are you staying here? And I'm like, yes, yes, I'm staying here, I'm staying here. Calm down, calm down. So anyway, um, we will have a look at the streets of Monaco a little bit tomorrow morning. We'll try and check out the pool. Again, filming could be a bit of a problem there because of the security. Um, and we will, I might have to go very early in the morning. We'll also check out dinner. And filming at the hotel is okay, but they obviously don't like you to film the clientele, even though 
I'm clientele as well, but obviously I respect people's privacy and I will blow out faces. But um, hopefully we'll be able to film the dinner tonight as well, which is gonna be in about, uh, about an hour's time, maybe around sunset. So I've just steps outside of the hotel. Hotel's just over there. To come and check out the world famous Monte Carlo Casino. Now you can pay to go in here, which I think costs you, I think it's seven euros, something like that, to go in and have a look. The gambling starts from two o'clock, but it's just all the flash cars that are around here. There's Lamborghinis, there's Porsches. Looks like building work's going on. They're getting ready for the Grand Prix. People love having their photos taken next to the Lamborghinis, which I think is just, are these just for show or is this someone's car? But uh, I'm gonna pay to go in there a little bit later. Whether I'll be able to film or not then, I don't know, but we'll have a go. Which one is it gonna be? I'm going for this one. So unfortunately the balcony is closed, so we'll just be inside, which is a shame because it looks beautiful out there. Wow, I've never waited so long for steak. This better be good. 20 minutes I've been waiting for the steak. It's not that busy. So I'm a bit confused. But it's been 35 minutes. I've been waiting for steak and chips. I was told the souffle has to be ordered ahead of time, which I have for my dessert, but yeah, the steak is still not here. I'm getting hungry now. The souffle is here. It smells amazing. Hopefully it's worth the wait. It's like meringue, but warm. I know you'll probably say something about that in the comments. So dinner was a little bit disappointing. There was a long wait for the steak and a slightly longer wait for the souffle. I can't say I'm a big fan of the souffle, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm sorry for any souffle fans out there, but it wasn't my cup of tea. It didn't really taste of anything. Yes, it was very light, um, lots of alcohol in there, but um, didn't overly enjoy it, to be honest. How much did the final bill come to for dinner? So the steak came to 85 euros. The chips, or the fries, came to 18 euros. Souffle came to 30 euros and a glass of wine came to 18 euros, a grand total of 151 euros. Now I get a 50 euro credit on my room actually towards food and beverage. So it cost me 100 euros. Anyway, I'm outside the famous casino. Let's see if I can make that money back. And that's a bad thing to say, isn't it? Anyway, I, I can't film in the casino, but I can film in the entrance. And actually you do get free entry um, by staying in the hotel, so come on. So I can't film in the casino, this is as far as I can go. But just look at the ceiling. It's absolutely amazing. So wish me luck, I'll tell you how it goes in a minute. Don't worry Gabby, I'm not gonna spend all the money. <laughs> gonna spend about 20 euros. 15 minutes later. Did I win? Or did I lose? Well, I won, and I won a bit more, and then I lost, and then I lost it all. Gutted. Well, that's why Monaco is here, because of that casino.
some might say. So tomorrow I'll be up early, hopefully to check out the pool at 7 a.m. Breakfast or so is shortly after. And there's also a beach club, hopefully if the weather's good, that we can check out as well. The only thing I'm gutted about the hotel is they don't tell you any information. You kind of got to find it out yourself. Or as they just gave me a map and the TV screen gave me some information. So I kind of went by that. So we'll see what it looks like in the morning and I'll tell you how my sleep goes. I'll see you then. Night night. So I just went to go to bed. <laughs> I saw that. I'm very surprised that the Hotel de Paris lets that slide. I'm sure the cleaner must have known there was holes in this pillow. Brilliant. Morning. So I've got to be a little bit quiet because the seven breakfast literally right underneath my balcony. First cup of tea in the morning is always the best, even if it has to be Earl Grey. Although actually, to be honest, I don't mind Earl Grey sometimes. I'm starting to enjoy it a lot more than I used to. So it's just past quarter past seven and I thought I would get up early and go and check out the pool because hopefully there won't be too many people in there because I don't want to get in people's way and people's privacy. So hopefully if there's nobody in there, I can get a couple of shots of the pool um, and the outside area as well. But I'm not bothered about going swimming in that pool because I'm saving it till later to go to the beach club and the weather looks all right. So we should enjoy that later. Of course, after breakfast. Morning. Thank you very much. So I thought I'd have a bit of a sea view for breakfast. There's a cold breakfast buffet and you can order your hot food uh, from the waiters. I've gone for the recommended Eggs Benedict this morning and a caramel macchiato. What a view. He just called this the Ferrari of eggs. Wow, look at that. Possibly the best. Eggs Benedict, I think I've ever tried. The bacon looks crispy, but it's not. <laughs> what a long walk to the pool. Down a marble tunnel. <laughs> So it is very early in the morning. It just depends whether they let me do a little bit of filming. Depends if anyone's in there actually. Morning. There was a couple of people in there, so I didn't want to get them. Sun lounge is outside, there's a hot tub over there as well. But the view you get. Is beautiful. Even first thing in the morning. So this is like the courtyard, open sky look. And yeah, a greenhouse here. <laughs> so it's literally, oh. Yep, I should have noticed that. A little bit of a shopping mall like a mini one for very expensive brands. I've been here for 24 hours. I've never seen anyone in any of these shops. I think the exit out of the hotel is up here as well. So that's what I mean. This time of day, you can walk into the hotel quite easily without any security on the door, so to speak. The security in the main entrance, but this entrance, there's, there's nobody. 
you can just walk out of the hotel. As you walk around, there's loads of these high-end shops selling expensive jewellery. The view from up here is pretty amazing. Look at that clock. Wow. There's a piano up here. Look at the furniture. I've never come across this before. A huge mirror at the end of a hallway in a hotel. And even the Hotel de Paris still has little ugly spots. <laughs> Imagine getting married in here. Wow. In fact, yesterday they had this room set up. You can see the footage here. I don't know what was going on, but it looks amazing. So I'm a little bit gutted because in my room on the TV, it said that the beach club was open. I found out through concierge that it isn't open as yet. So I won't be able to go and check out the swimming pool or the private beach for the hotel. I think it's a private beach, anyway. But I am gonna go and check out the public beach of Monaco, which is just up there. And also I'm gonna go and check out the world famous changing of the guard at the palace, come on. So there is the Hotel de Paris and the famous casino. And I can actually walk down to the beach, I think, this way. And obviously the F1 is here in Monaco and I believe the, the red and white markings on the road are always here. I don't know if the chain fence is always here or not, but obviously this is just here at the minute because of the Grand Prix that's happening. It might be here all year. You'll have to let me know in the comments. I don't think it is. This is the Fairmont. This does not look that inviting, does it? Looks pretty old. I was speaking to a friend of a friend who once had a place in Monaco and the thing is, is if you buy an apartment with a sea view, you're lucky because there's always building work going on. And in the middle of Monaco, there's this really pretty Japanese garden, which you can walk through. There's a lot of building work going on and you'd be gutted if you bought one of these apartments and you had a sea view because you don't anymore. And these might not look much, but they are ridiculously expensive. Shame there's so much building work going on because it's completely ruining this. Wow, look at the koi carp in there, they're huge. Yikes. Noise control barrier. It's not doing much though. The ducks are exiting, just like me. Good idea if you wanna sightsee around Monaco with these bikes. I apologize to anyone that's big fans of Monaco, but I'm definitely getting Benidorm vibes down here. Absolutely gutted that it's gone cloudy, but here's the beach. Let's go down. So this is the public beach of Monaco. As you can see, it's, it's pretty quiet. The season's only actually just getting underway here in Monaco. Plus it's turned really cloudy, but I will walk just a little bit further up and check out the beach, the beach club that belongs to the hotel that is currently closed. So there's the Monte Carlo Beach Club. It is far from ready to be opened, unfortunately. Could have sworn on the website it said it was open in April, but it didn't give an exact date. Anyway, before we come to the price of the hotel, let's just quickly go right up the other side of Monaco to go and check out the palace and the famous changing of the guard. So it's taken me around about 45 minutes to walk here. I should have got a bus or a taxi, but I thought it'd be nice to take in the surroundings.
Now that's what you call a motorbike. Wow. Now in the summer it can get very warm, but if you walk around with your top off, you can get fined. I think it's about 50 to 100 euros, especially if you're walking around the palace, so dress sensibly. I'm sure you would anyway. Yikes, I'm regretting this now. Almost there. Top tip, don't walk here. It's knackering. So the changing of the guard happens every day at 11.55 prompt. And as you can see, there's a few people here already. And then they all walk back in there. Probably have a cup of tea. So we'll come to the price in a minute. What did I think of a stay in the Hotel de Paris here in Monaco? Overall, the hotel, first of all, is absolutely beautiful, but there are a few issues that I found, especially in my room. For example, there was a bit of a smell coming from the drains, especially when I was in the bath and later on in my room. I don't understand why. Um, I had problems draining the bath after I had a bath last night, so I had to call up um, housekeeping to see if they could come and sort it out. And obviously where the hotel is situated, it gets lots of tourists that come in and want to take photos. Now this is obviously my review, my own experience, but I found the staff to be quite rude at times and not very welcoming. Now you could say, Tim, well, this is because you're walking around with a camera, but as I checked in, even before I started filming, um, I got awful looks from the security. The gentleman on reception that checked me in was in training um, and was having trouble checking me in, yet the gentleman who was standing next to him didn't seem to want to help. And I asked some questions to the concierge and um, they were really not very pleasant at all, actually. Some of the questions I was asking them, they were looking at me like I was stupid. And then, of course, one of the security guys came over, even though I was just having a normal conversation. Um, and that felt really intimidating. In fact, all of the security in there feel intimidating because I guess they get a lot of tourists that come in and like to take a photo, which is fine. Um, but if you're staying in the hotel um, and you show your card, which I did, they still looked at you like you shouldn't be there. So the security there was doing their job, but um, they could stop giving you death stares all the time. And this was even when I wasn't filming. So I went for the Gateway to Monaco package which included parking for one, your daily breakfast, and a credit of 50 euros to spend on food. So that came to a grand total of 1,727 euros. And it's about 45 minutes from Nice Airport by taxi, and it costs about 100 euros. And so when I was booking, it said extras, and it said, why not treat yourself to a helicopter transfer for 195 euros? So I thought, actually, yeah, I'll do that. And normally you have to pay up to 700 euros to get a private helicopter. Um, and mine was a shared one, but no one else was in it. So I think I got a good deal there. It's a world famous hotel. Do I think it's a little bit overhyped? It is beautiful. Yeah, I probably do think it's a little bit overhyped now that I've stayed here. Tell me what you thought in the comments. Do give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.